Hi friends, it's Miss Jessica again. I am so excited to be with you here today. Um, what you need for our lesson is your book and of course something to write with. And we are going to use this today instead of our mat. So your book, something to write with, and your alphabet strip, and that's it. Okay, are we ready to get started? I am, all right. So in a little bit, we're going to read a story about being in a storm. Who's been in a storm before? either outside of the storm or been stuck in your house because of a storm. We all live in Oklahoma, so we've all been through something, right? Yeah. So, storms sometimes have sleet. Sleet is made of frozen ice pellets. They're really tiny ice pellets. Kind of like hail, but smaller. It's frozen rain. But they'll hurt if they hit your arms or your face if you're outside when they're falling from the sky. Have you ever been in a storm like that, where you've gotten hit with ice falling from the sky? I've had some sleet fall on me, but no hail. I'm not outside for that. Okay, so before we get to our story, we're going to do some of our reading practice. The first thing we're going to do today are compound words. We're going to do them a little different though. I've been giving you two words and you've been putting them together to make a compound word. Today, I'm going to give you the compound word and you're going to tell me what the words are. Are you ready? Okay, so let's do an example. We'll do one that I know that you know because we've done it before. If I say baseball, what two words make up baseball? Base and ball. Great job, okay. Now, if I say band stand, repeat that. Band stand, great. What two words make up band stand? Band and stand, great. You guys are doing awesome. Okay, what about dustpan? Repeat, dustpan. What two words make up dustpan? Dust and pan. Got that little hair that keeps getting in my eye. What about nutcracker? Nutcracker. What two words make up that? Nut and cracker. Fantastic. Okay, we're going to do two more. Are you ready? The next one is high chair. Repeat. What two words make up high chair? Hi and chair. Great job, fantastic. All right, are you ready for the last one? Okay, the last one, repeat it, is carsick. What two words make up carsick? Car and sick. Great job. All right, now we're going to do something we have not done before. I'm going to give you three, four, five words. I think most of them have four words in each group. And you are going to echo those words. So I'm gonna say, I don't know, couch, cat, calf, and can. And you're going to repeat those. Couch, calf, cat, can. Great. Then you are going to tell me the initial sound in the set of words. Who knows what initial means? Initial is the first sound. Great. Okay, so are you ready for your first one? Yeah, okay. So fan, feather, fist, and from. Repeat. Fan, feather, fist, and from. What's that first sound in those words? Right, it is the sound F. Good job. All right, you ready for the next one? Let's do pat, pin, part, and pun. Repeat. 
hat, pin, part, and pun. Great. What is the first sound in all of those letters or words? P. P, P, P. Great job. All right, you ready for a new one? New, not, none, nab. Repeat. New, not, none, nab. What's the first sound there? Mm, in. Great job. All right, this one's going to be a little tricky. Are you ready for it? I think you are. Okay, you ready? It, in, if, itch. Repeat. It, in, if, itch. What's the first sound? Eh, what letter is that? I, I, igloo, I. Great. Okay. We're going to do two more. Are you ready? Ham, hot, heart, hurry. Repeat. Ham, hot, heart, hurry. What's the first sound? H. Great job. All right, last one. Lap, little, later, lead. Repeat. Lap, little, later, lead. What's the first sound there? O, L. Great. All right. Are you ready for to do our alphabet warm up with our hands? It's going to be a little different seeing me here instead of down here on my mat, isn't it? All right. So my beforehand is my left hand. My afterhand is my right hand. What is the first letter of our alphabet? A. And the last letter is Z. What are the middle letters? Do you remember without saying them? M and N. Great job. My beforehand goes on the A and my afterhand goes on the N. Great. We're going to touch and name our letters. You can use my strip up here or you can use yours that's on the floor in front of you, okay? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M. Don't forget to tag. N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Great job. All right, how many letters are in the alphabet? 26. How many kinds of letters do we have? Two kinds of letters. They are our vowels and consonants. What are my vowels? A, E, I, O, and U. Great job. Okay. I didn't want to get our letters out just for that today. We've done our letters a lot, haven't we? All right. We are going to learn a couple of new letter sounds. All right, you ready? They're actually the same letter sound, um, and they're another digraph. Who remembers what a digraph is? Two letters, one sound. Great job. All right. So, this is digraph E-E. -E. You'll notice that over here, one of my E's is marked out. Do you see that? Yeah. So that means that the sound is E. It's just one, it's just one E. It's not E, -E. it's not E, -E. it's just E, okay? Um, so I have digraph E, -E. What is this a picture of? Stinky smelly feet. And so the sound is E, digraph E, -E. feet E. -E. Okay, this time you're going to repeat. Are you ready? Digraph E, E, feet E. Great. All right, one more. So, oh, back up. This one is a, a sound that is in the middle of a word. Okay? Feet, 
eat, eat, okay? Now, this is the same sound, but the picture is different because in this one, the sound comes at the end of the word. So we're gonna have two different pictures to help us remember it can come in the middle of the word or at the end of a word, okay? So this is what? Digraph EE, -E, three, and the sound is still E, great job. So what do we learn from both of these cards? What do we do when we see two E's together? We just say E, great. All right, are you ready to review your old cards? You think you can do it? Let me put our new ones in there. I think you can handle the new ones today, huh? Yeah, all right, gotta shuffle them up. I haven't shuffled them in a couple of days. All right, ready? Okay. D, good short sounds. G, that's another short one. K, good job. Er, ah, uh, yeah. K, great. Y, another short one. We did this sound earlier, didn't we? Eh, eh. Digraph OO. -O. Great. Remember, short sounds. E yep. Remember, this is the one that you don't voice. It's the quiet one. B great. The they great job. Mm, I don't like that one because it makes my lips buzz. I don't like that feeling. P great. T yeah. Digraph in G King. Mm Great job. That's our short E sound. Eh, eh. Mm, great. All right. Now what do we get to do? Sight words. All right. I'm in a silly mood today, aren't I? Okay. Our first sight word is when. Great. Number. Mother. Father. Good job. All right, now you get to say them and I'm gonna repeat, ready? When. Number. Mother. Father. Great job. All right. We've got this huge stack. We're up to 48 words. That's so many words. Oh my goodness. You guys are going to know so many, so many, so many. Think you're ready for them? The very first one is a new one. Okay, you ready? This, mm -hmm. forward, mm 
square does, yeah. Goes. You're doing awesome. We're getting close. Either or either. Almost done. Of. Mm -hmm. Which. Job. All right. Now we get to go to our book. I want you to turn to page 65. It has lesson 13 up at the top and this picture of a truck at the bottom. Okay, just in case we forgot, who gets to be the teacher of the first line? Me, who gets to be the teacher of the second line? You, and then the third line, what happens? We all read it at our own pace. All right, you ready? Are your fingers on that first word? All right, first one is feet. Beat. Meet, creak, sleek, sleek. Yeah, great job. Okay, you ready to be the teacher so I can learn some words? All right, go. Sleep, drugs, stump, grand, Slum. Great job. Okay, you have five more words to read. Remember, don't worry about your neighbors. Just do what you can. Are you ready? Okay, go. All right, one, two, three, all eyes on me. Great job. Okay, you ready to hear them? Ramps, crust, rug, rag, rust. Great. All right, now it's time for our sentences. Okay, who gets to be the teacher first? Me. Who gets to be the teacher next? You. And then at the end, we all read it all together. Okay, are you ready? The steel job is a test of Jack's training. Repeat. Great, it's the steel, not still, the steel, the steel job. It's not like I steal something or you please steal something or don't steal something. That would be better. It's um, it's the material steel that buildings are made out of. Okay. All right. Who gets to be the teacher now? You go for it. Make sure you have your finger following along. Sam and Tad are helpless in the sleet and smog. Great job. All right. Let's read the last one together. One, two, three. Was Janet tracking the path of a big cat? How did I know that was a question? There was a question mark and it starts with was. If there's a sentence that starts with was, almost every single time it's going to be a question. I actually can't think of a time it's not a question, but if I told you every time, I could be wrong somewhere. I'd say 99 times out of 100, so 99% of the time, it's going to be a question, okay? 
All right, I'm going to give you, you have one, two, five sentences to read today. So I'm going to let you read those. And remember, don't worry about your neighbor. You read what you can in the speed that you can, okay? All right, I'll wait, go ahead. Okay, one, two, three, all eyes on me. Some of you might not have finished. I didn't keep track of what time I told you to start, but it's okay. Are you ready for me to read it for you? All right. All of the trucks in the lot were running. The men were standing. All Stan needed was the steel bands to put in the trucks and get them on the way in the wet sleet. Here were the steel bands. The trucks are on their way to the shipping dock. Oh, bless me. Okay. All right, how'd you guys do with that? Pretty good? All right, remember how last time I let you read the story and with a partner? We're going to do that again, but we're going to change something just a little bit. So we have six paragraphs, not seven, six paragraphs. I'm going to let you trade off paragraphs, okay? Who remembers what a paragraph is? It's where the words go in. That's called an indent. So the first person's going to read all the way until you get here. And then the second person's gonna read all the way until you get here, okay? And you're just gonna keep reading and taking turns. So find a partner, when I say go, find a partner, choose who's going to read first, and then get started, okay? Questions, oh, speaking of questions, what do we need to do before we read? Miss Jessica just forgets to do this a lot, doesn't she? We need to look at our questions at the bottom. Okay, so our first question says, why were Jan and Jim late to class? So what do we know from the story about that? They were late, yeah. Okay, and our characters are Jan and Jim. Okay, number two, what happened after class? So why were they late and what happened after class? Do we have to worry about class at all right now? Not yet, we'll see. Number three, what kind of test did they take? Oh, that's a question about class, isn't it? So we need to know before class, during class, after class. Okay, three things. Can you remember those three? Before, during, after. Okay, now find your partner and start reading. Go.
Okay, five, four, three, two, one. Everybody up here? All right. I gave you guys six minutes, so that was about a minute per paragraph. Um, most of you, I think, should have finished. Um, I'm going to read you the story, and then we're going to go over the questions, okay? All right, are you ready? All right. Jan and Jim needed to be in class. They were late because the sleet was falling heavily now. The little ice pellets were forming a sheet of ice on everything. The streets were crowded with cars which were moving slowly. Finally, they got to the campus and stopped the car in a student lot. The sleet was stinging their skin as they ran up the steep steps of the campus building. The trees were bending to the street from the sleet. The steps of the building were slick with sleet. In class, their math test was long and their feet were damp. Jan began to sniff. Wet feet are really cold. When they finally finished the math test, the sleet was coming down even more. They made their way to their Jeep in the student lot. Now they were wet and cold all over. They hoped that the Jeep would be okay on the slick streets. The Jeep had no control. It slipped and slid on the sleet on the street, hit a hump in the street, and slid and spun into the creek. Jan and Jim slipped out of the Jeep and crept up the bank of the creek. They were so cold, they could not feel their hands. A trucker stopped and picked them up. He took them to the campus for help. What a damp trip. All right, that was a pretty good story. Number one, let's answer our questions. Why were Jan and Jim late to class? A, there was sleet on the streets. B, they woke up late. Or C, Jan forgot her homework. A, there was sleet on the streets. How did we know that? Yeah, it said they were late right up here. They were late because the sleet was falling heavily now and the cars were moving slowly. You can even underline the sentence about the streets were crowded because the cars were, were crowded with cars that were moving slowly. And what question does that answer? Question one, great job. All right, question two. What happened after class? A, they found out their grades. B, they drove home. Or C, their Jeep ended up in the creek. See, the Jeep ended up in the creek. That's right. How do we know that? It tells us right here in this paragraph. The Jeep had no control. It slipped and slid on the sleet on the street, hit a hump in the street, and slid and spun into the creek. You really only have to underline that part about the creek if you want. And what question does that one answer? Question two, that's right. Okay, number three. What kind of test did they take? A, math, B, science, or C, history? A math test. That's Miss Jessica's favorite subject. That's what I teach during the school year is math. I love reading too but I teach math. Where do we know that they took a math class, a math test? And right here, it says when they finally finished their math test. It's all we have to highlight or underline. And what question does that answer? Question three, great job. This right here, stories like this, are why we close schools when there's supposed to be bad weather so we don't get into creeks or accidents. All right, what did we learn today? We took apart compound words. We learned the sound EE. -E. What sound does the, the, does the digraph EE -E make? E. And we learned four new sight words. And what was our story about? It was about two people, Jan and Jim, 
who crashed into the creek because of the sleet. So great job today. I look forward to seeing you guys again tomorrow. Bye.